We believe this panther was hit by a car about a month ago and she was rescued by Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission biologists and taken to a referral clinic in, in Naples for, for treatment. I have lidocaine. She had a fractured femur, uh, fractured ribs, lung contusions, bruising. And she's borderline even being old enough to survive on her own. She would have been a dependent kitten at the time of this accident and she certainly wouldn't have survived these, these injuries had she not been brought in. She was brought up to White Oak Conservation Center for rehabilitation. Um, during her stay there, she developed complications. She uh, exerted herself and apparently broke down the, the fracture repair and was brought to the University of Florida for additional surgery. These cats are so strong that they had repaired the original fracture with a, a bone plate and put it on the, the side of the bone and it was starting to heal, but then these cats, and we've seen this happen before, they just bend the plates. So this is the fracture, and you can see that this plate is bent. It's an angulation, and, and a lot of the bone at this area where the plate bent was crumbled. So we had to go in and remove the old plate, take all those screws out, and then some of the bone really had questionable viability. It was kind of fragmented, so we cut the ends of the bones so that they were relatively smooth, compressed those ends of the bones together, and we applied a plate on the lateral surface of the bone. It's always a race with the uh, with these fractures and these big cats. What's going to happen first? Is the fracture going to heal, or are they going to are the implants going to fail? So hopefully, uh, by putting the second plate on here, that'll allow that fracture to go to heal. You know, there's so few of these um, panthers left. It's 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 great that we get the opportunity to do this and hopefully we can get this cat back out in the wild. Our goal is to release her back into the wild. She's a, a young, healthy female and she'd be a, a, a great addition to the population. So we want her returned to the wild and we've been very successful in this endeavor and have returned several uh, rehabilitated panthers over the years that, that have been treated here at UF and, and rehabbed at, at White Oak um, and successfully returned back to the wild and we fully expect that she'll follow suit.